What if all the ice on Earth melted in one night? Would we just wake up to higher sea levels? Or would something much worse happen? Well, I have some news for you. If you went to bed tonight, and all of Earth's ice melted by morning, you probably wouldn't be waking up at all. But let's imagine you could somehow survive this scenario, and see what would unfold during the most catastrophic night in human history. Right now, there are more than 5 million cubic miles of ice scattered across our planet. Under normal circumstances, scientists estimate it would take over 5,000 years to melt it all. But we're not talking about normal circumstances. We're talking about a single night where every glacier, ice sheet, and frozen surface on Earth transforms into liquid water simultaneously. The first thing you'd notice wouldn't be the rising seas. It would be the ground beneath your feet. As billions of tons of ice suddenly convert to water and rush toward the oceans, the Earth itself would start behaving differently. Like a spinning ice skater whose rotation changes when they move their arms, our planet's spin would be dramatically affected by this massive redistribution of mass. The day would actually get longer. Not by much at first, but the Greenland ice sheet alone melting would add about 2 milliseconds to each day. When you factor in all the ice on Earth, the planet would wobble as it spins, and its axis would shift location in a phenomenon called polar motion. The invisible line at Earth's center around which we rotate would literally move, affecting the fluids swirling around in our planet's molten core. But here's where things get truly terrifying. As this unprecedented mass of water flows into the oceans, sea levels wouldn't just rise gradually, they would surge by more than 216 feet in a matter of hours. To put this in perspective, imagine a wall of water taller than a 20-story building suddenly claiming every coastal area on Earth. The entire Atlantic seaboard would vanish. Florida would disappear completely, along with the Gulf Coast. In Egypt, both Alexandria and Cairo would be swallowed by the advancing Mediterranean. London would become a memory. Venice would be reclaimed by the Adriatic Sea, and the Netherlands would surrender entirely to the waves. The devastation would be global and immediate. Land currently home to 600 million Chinese would flood. All of Bangladesh, with its 160 million residents, would be underwater. Much of coastal India would disappear. Australia would lose the narrow coastal strip where four out of five Australians live. Every major port city would be claimed by the advancing waters. However, the rising seas would only be the beginning of our problems. You see, ice doesn't just sit there looking pretty. Those white, reflective surfaces have been doing a crucial job for millions of years, bouncing the sun's energy back into space and keeping our planet's temperature in balance. With all that ice gone overnight, Earth would suddenly lose its ability to reflect solar radiation. Instead of bouncing heat away, our planet would start absorbing massive amounts of energy that had previously been deflected. Dark ocean water and exposed land absorb heat far more effectively than ice, which means the warming would accelerate at an unprecedented rate. This would trigger what scientists call feedback loops, and they would be unlike anything our planet has experienced in recorded history. The more heat Earth absorbs, the faster it warms. The faster it warms, the more dramatic the changes become. We'd be looking at average temperatures, potentially jumping from the current 58 degrees Fahrenheit to around 80 degrees Fahrenheit, fundamentally altering weather patterns across the globe. But the temperature changes would be just one piece of a much larger puzzle of destruction. The polar vortex, which normally keeps frigid air contained in the Arctic regions, would collapse entirely. Without ice to maintain the temperature differences that drive this system, the jet stream would destabilize completely. What does this mean for you? Well, if you thought extreme weather was bad before, you haven't seen anything yet. The sudden loss of polar ice would send the jet stream into complete chaos. Instead of following its usual predictable patterns, it would meander wildly across the globe, bringing Arctic air to tropical regions and sending scorching heat to areas that have never experienced such temperatures. Imagine snow falling in the Amazon while Death Valley experiences temperatures that would literally cook anything exposed to the surface. But here's where the story gets even more disturbing. Remember all that water rushing into the oceans? It wouldn't just sit there quietly. The sudden addition of millions of cubic miles of fresh water would completely disrupt ocean circulation patterns that have remained stable for thousands of years. The ocean operates like a massive conveyor belt system. Cold, dense water sinks at the poles and travels along the ocean floor toward the equator, while warm water near the surface flows back toward the poles. This system distributes heat and nutrients around the globe, moderating temperatures, and supporting marine ecosystems everywhere. With all that fresh meltwater flooding in, this circulation would grind to a halt. The Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, which keeps Europe relatively warm despite its northern latitude, would collapse. The Antarctic Overturning Circulation, which distributes nutrients throughout the Southern Ocean, would shut down completely. The consequences would ripple through every corner of the planet. 
fisheries would collapse as ocean chemistry changes. Weather patterns that have supported agriculture for millennia would shift dramatically. Some regions would experience unprecedented droughts, while others would face flooding that makes our current concerns seem trivial. Meanwhile, the land itself would be responding to the dramatic loss of ice weight. For millions of years, massive ice sheets have pressed down on the continents with tremendous force. Remove all that weight overnight, and the land would literally start bouncing back in a process called post-glacial rebound. This wouldn't be a gentle adjustment. We're talking about massive earthquakes as the Earth's crust readjusts to its new reality. Mountain ranges would shift. Fault lines that have remained stable for centuries would suddenly become active. The ring of fire around the Pacific would likely explode with volcanic activity as tectonic plates respond to the changing pressures. And if you think the immediate devastation would be bad, consider what would happen to the ecosystems. Polar bears, seals, penguins, and countless other species that have evolved specifically for icy environments would face immediate extinction. But the cascade wouldn't stop there. As ocean temperatures rise and circulation patterns collapse, marine food chains would crumble from the bottom up. Phytoplankton, which form the base of ocean ecosystems and produce much of our oxygen, would die off in massive numbers. The ocean's ability to absorb carbon dioxide would plummet just when we'd need it most. On land, the story would be equally catastrophic. Permafrost across the Arctic would begin thawing rapidly, releasing massive quantities of methane that have been locked away for thousands of years. So Sarah, to answer your original question, no, we wouldn't just wake up to higher sea levels. We'd wake up to a planet that no longer resembles Earth as we know it. In a single night, we'd witness the collapse of ocean circulation, the destabilization of global weather patterns, the extinction of countless species, and the complete restructuring of our planet's surface. The irony is that this scenario, while impossible to happen overnight, gives us a glimpse into the very real consequences of ice loss that are already occurring, just on a much slower timescale. Every glacier that melts, every ice sheet that shrinks, every degree of warming pushes us further along the same devastating path. The good news is that we still have time to change course. The ice on our planet didn't appear overnight, and under normal circumstances, it won't disappear overnight either. But the choices we make today will determine whether future generations inherit a world with stable ice sheets and predictable weather patterns, or one where the scenarios we've explored become an inevitable reality. Sometimes the most terrifying what-if questions are the ones that show us exactly what we stand to lose. And in this case, what we stand to lose is everything that makes Earth the remarkable, life-supporting planet we call home.